In today's video, we will compare the firmware updates to the in-body image stabilization for Fujifilm's X-H1. I'll give you a quick rundown of my settings. Film simulation is Eterna. The color, shadows, and highlights are all set to zero. We're recording in 4K, 23.9 frames per second at 100 megabits per second. White balance is set to daylight. For this test, I'll be doing a mix of handheld and tripod mounted shots. Both cameras have the awesome 16 to 55 f2.8 lens attached. I'm shooting at f4, 148th of a second at ISO 3200. So here with these first shots, we can see that there's not a huge difference at 16 millimeters between the two. I'm not really surprised as I never really noticed a problem with the jerkiness when panning at 16 millimeters or even wider with my 12 millimeter. Now when we switch to 55 millimeters, we can start to see a difference. Especially if you notice the keyboard keys, you can really see how the previous version has more jerkiness to it. Version 2.0 is not perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. This next shot is also a handheld, and again, you can clearly see an improvement with the new firmware. Here we have a handheld shot at 55 millimeters. For this shot, I was using the EVF and hand holding, very similar to what I'd normally do on a wedding day. I mean, this shot looks good, right? But when we look at the same shot with the new firmware, we can see it's it's definitely smoother, right? There's definitely an improvement there. Now these last two shots were shot with the camera mounted on a video head tripod. These clips look much closer to each other than the previous ones. The X-H1 has always been pretty good about panning if you're using a nice fluid head on your tripod. But again, I still have to give the edge to the new one. Um, I see that there is a difference with how it handles the starting and stopping of the panning. So I hope this video was helpful in showing just how good of a camera the X-H1 really is. If you liked the video, give it a like and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be putting out a couple more videos comparing the new firmware using the 50 to 140 and the 56mm in the future. Until next time.